little gold tan on my left hand No little white mark on that wooden band Cause I threw it off and packed my bag Stand by your man The hell I am 104.9961 KYTN. A very special guest today, Miss Tracy Delucia. Hi, Tracy. How Hi. are you? How you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing fine. You don't, you don't say y'all a lot, do you? Oh, no. Do you really? No. No? No, no. no it's not. No. North of the Mason Dixon line, y'all is kind of like uh, obliterated from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you say when you collectively say. How you, you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Uh, uh, very, <laughs> very Wendy Williams. <laughs> Which is. Uh, How you doing? I never thought I'd be Wendy Williams, but I do do that. Well, I do. that's okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I really want to know how you're doing. Well, I'm doing fantastic. And, and you're doing? I'm doing great. Well, I, uh, well we're both alive. We're yeah, breathing. We're, we're vertical. Breathing. I mean, you know, yeah. that's a great start for the day. Yeah. Blessings to you for being uh, on the artist trail now with. Uh, the new single, mm -hmm. Stand By Your Man, The Hell I Am. Mm -hmm. uh, how did that song come about? Uh, my husband and I write together. Okay. We had met with another writer. We were at Cat Wilds' place uh, in Nashville. And um, he had come up with this whole, it was an empowerment song for women. Uh, to stop that ball and chain. They, they were done with the ball and chain. They were now free. Right. And this writer, she took the title. She took, that was the opening line, Stand By Your Man, The Hell I Am. She then made it the title of the song and they made it the theme which was great because we need Nashville's approval on that I really think well yeah and, you yeah. know the thing about it is if you if you looked at it from just the title without uh, the parentheses here yeah. uh, you think oh look and at that she did it again. You know, she did it <laughs> like that. oh how great yeah. that's wonderful and you go wait a minute I don't believe that's it uh, but but I like I like what you're saying about as far as the empowerment song uh, or the empowerment feeling yeah. that goes along with the song because we hear of a lot of things that, uh, you know, you, you ask the question, why are you still with him? Um, and and kind of along the lines mm -hmm. of, uh, of the song itself. And, and would I be with him? No. Yeah. yeah. You know, based on those circumstances, no. So no. that is true to what I feel, but that's that, that's not what's necessarily happening in my life. Right, right. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely relatable. It's collectively across the nation, yeah. I mean, there, and across the world for that matter. Yeah. There's a lot of issues like that going mm -hmm. on. I mean, it goes along the lines of bullying and, yes. and anything else mm -hmm. that, um, you know, we may not hear about it in our daily lives, but we know it's there. Mm -hmm. it, it is an issue. And it's, uh, I guess it's to try and build confidence in women to say, you know what, you're better than that. Right. You know, there's no need to have mm -hmm. to settle. My dad always told me, never settle for mediocrity. Oh, I know. And that's I'm true. like, you know what, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. Always settle for only yeah. the best. Yeah, we deserve it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, now you've been out on the, uh, the radio tour trail for mm -hmm. a, a little while. How fun has it been so far? It's been fun. No, we just started. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm having fun. Yeah, it's well, going. Good. It's it, nice, nice people, really. Well, you know. Yeah. I, I didn't have any uh, donuts or, or coffee or anything. I apologize for it's my. It's all right. For I'm, my on a, I'm on a diet. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Well, next week. <laughs> and Joe is too. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> no. By by volunteer or by order. <laughs> by order. By, by order. <laughs> I got you. Uh, have another donut? The hell I am. Uh, okay. So that'll be the follow-up single. Yeah, yeah, forget about it. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? I love it. Now, so I'm sure you get you get a lot of compliments on your on your accent. I love your accent. And you know what's funny? Because my parents lived in Allentown, Pennsylvania for a short amount of time. And I would go up and visit them. And, and I would go to a restaurant and I would order and they were like, did you say that again? And I'm like... What, what did I say? Did I say something wrong? Did I mispronounce right, the word? Right, right. No, she love your accent. I love it when the people from where I live say, where do you get your accent from? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I said, what are you talking about? We talk the same. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Um, well, very cool. Tracy Delucia is our, is our very special guest. Now, you've got... Um, um, this uh, it's just a just an EP. It's just an EP. It's just a just for right now. Yeah. I mean, so you've got the first time we fell in love, and and I noticed that you and and your husband co-write all the songs. Yeah. Is it is it um, is it harder to write than it is perform? And, and Joe wrote one of the songs with us too. You did. You wrote the first. No. Um, first time. First, first, time. first time we fell in love. Right. Yeah. First track there. Yeah. Yeah, see, I've got it in front of me. See, you I don't. forgot. You know see, what it is? We, we just had these printed up. So I, oh, you know what it is? 
<laughs> it's what it is. Forget about it. We're leaving. So, I don't even know what the order is anymore. It's only three songs. Sometimes we like stand by your man's first. This one say I didn't forgot what we sent into the. Uh, so I apologize. <laughs> Top five answers on the board, for, uh, top 100 people uh, surveyed, and you give us your correct answer. Um, no, see, I have a cheat sheet. It's called the uh, EP in front of me. If you don't, you know, it's it's okay. You you, you get a hall pass. Okay. Uh, but how fun is it writing together? I mean, is it easy? Do you, do you butt heads a lot? I mean... Uh, well, we only wrote that one song, and that was, uh, my husband pretty much had the main idea, that melody and idea out there, so it was just a matter of us, the three of us tweaking it. Right. Um, not really. My my husband's having a hard time because I'm not really a uh, the the writer. Right. I'll come up with ideas, but I don't know where to fit them into the song and right. they'll get them to fit. Um, but I'm more melody. I do the melody. Okay. Um, you know. So and um, my husband's very strong into melody and writing. So it's kind of his baby too. Right. You just kind of add a little uh, whipped cream. I uh, I finish it off. I say, well, Dave, this is good. We got it. You know, let's go with this. Okay. And he'll go. Ah, you think so? I go. I know so. You know, ding, we have a winner. Yeah. Okay. So you you've written uh, quite a bit of songs. Yeah. This is this is nineteen. Not my really? Nineteenth song. Uh, do, do, they, do they get easier as you write, or? Actually, this this process got real easy. Really? This was like a get. This was beautiful because it is a very. My husband could have one hundred and fifty write rewrites on one song. Right. Because he's working, and he really has no time frame to to get it to be made. Right. You know, we're not on that and he's a perfectionist, project. I bet. He is. Yeah. 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 See, I would be like, uh, yeah, that looks good enough. Yeah, he'll he'll even ask for critiques from people from Nashville. You know, go to uh, you know write at Nash the Nashville Songwriters Association, ask someone from there. Right. So he's very into getting that lyric to be right. Well, that's good. You know? Well, you want if you're gonna put something into presentation form, you want it to be the best. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You and, got uh, one shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and so if you're if you're asking um, for critiques from Nashville, mm -hmm. they've seen it all. Yep. They've heard it all, mm -hmm. and they know what's worked and what hasn't. So yeah, it's good to have that uh, that feedback yeah. there. Education. Now, do you spend a lot of time in Nashville? Uh, actually, this year I've been here. What? Twice. It's my second time mm -hmm. here. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. I mean, Any thoughts of moving to Nashville? I would like to. Yeah. Um, but it has to. It has. To, I have three kids, so it has to kind of like all fit uh, yeah. piece to a puzzle. Yeah, I know yeah. that. I have six, so. Go six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a general reaction. I have six. He's not planning to move to New York anytime soon with six kids. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. you know, I, I've got. Um, wow. yeah, my oldest is twenty. He's in the army. Okay. And uh, he was a trumpet player. My next oldest is a, uh, a thirteen-year-old drummer. Okay. Uh, my next oldest is 11. She plays trumpet. So is that because you're near music? Well, well see, I was I'm a drummer. Oh, you um, are. Yeah, my husband's a drummer. And I'm uh, I teach uh, high school drum line, and you know, so it's it's great when my kids are beating on everything at the house. Yeah. My eight year old, he wants to be a drummer, and he's okay. pretty good so far. So. But drummers have it tough because they can't they 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 know melodies, they know timing. But they really can't sing it because no. their instrument is not no, in no, tune. No. I mean, I, yeah, it's like your sixteenth <laughs> note sounding kind of right over there. Yes, yeah, it's not in tune. Yeah. yeah. yeah.